BA Sales Superstar by Brian Tracy is a book that aims to help salespeople improve their skills and become top performers in their field. The book is based on Tracy's years of experience as a sales trainer and consultant, and it contains practical advice and techniques that can be used by anyone looking to excel in sales. The book starts with an introduction that lays out the importance of sales in any business and the role that top salespeople play in achieving success. Tracy argues that sales is not just about pushing products or services onto customers, but rather it is about creating value for them and building relationships that can lead to long-term success. Tracy also emphasizes the need for salespeople to have a positive attitude and to think like winners. He explains that successful salespeople have a can-do mentality and are always looking for ways to improve their performance. They also have a clear vision of their goals and are committed to achieving them. The first chapter of the book delves into the mindset of top salespeople and the habits that they have developed to achieve success. Tracy explains that top salespeople are proactive and take initiative, they are focused on their goals and are persistent in their efforts to achieve them. They also have a strong work ethic and are constantly learning and improving their skills. The next few chapters focus on the importance of prospecting and lead generation. Tracy stresses that salespeople must be proactive in finding new business opportunities and developing relationships with potential customers. He provides practical tips on how to identify and target potential customers as well as how to effectively communicate with them. The book then moves on to the sales process itself, with chapters on effective communication. The final chapters of the book focus on building long-term customer relationships and developing a strong personal brand. Tracy emphasizes the importance of providing excellent customer service, following up with customers, and building trust and credibility over time. He also offers tips on how to develop a personal brand that sets you apart from other salespeople and makes you a trusted advisor to your customers. Overall, BA Sales Superstar is a practical and comprehensive guide to becoming a top-performing salesperson. Whether you are new to sales or an experienced professional, the book offers valuable insights and techniques that can help you improve your skills and achieve greater success in your career. By adopting the mindset and habits of top salespeople and following the practical advice provided in the book, anyone can become a sales superstar. Chapter 1 of BA Sales Superstar by Brian Tracy is titled Commit to Excellence. In this chapter, Tracy emphasizes the importance of making a commitment to excellence in every area of your life, especially in sales. According to Tracy, the first step to becoming a sales superstar is to make a decision to commit to excellence. This means setting high standards for yourself and your work and consistently striving to meet and exceed those standards. Tracy explains that excellence is not something that can be achieved overnight but rather a continuous process of improvement and growth. Tracy argues that one of the key characteristics of successful salespeople is their commitment to excellence. They are always looking for ways to improve their skills, knowledge, and performance. They understand that their success depends on their ability to deliver exceptional value to their customers, and they are willing to go above and beyond to achieve this. Tracy also highlights the importance of having a positive attitude and a strong work ethic. He believes that success in sales is not just about talent, but also about hard work and dedication. Sales superstars are willing to put in the time and effort to hone their craft and achieve their goals. To illustrate the power of commitment to excellence, Tracy shares the story of two salespeople who were selling vacuum cleaners door to door. One of them was just going through the motions while the other was fully committed to providing exceptional customer service and delivering the best product possible. The second salesperson ended up selling twice as many vacuum cleaners as the first, simply because he was committed to excellence. Tracy also emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for your own success. He believes that sales superstars are not content to blame external factors for their failures or shortcomings. Instead, they take ownership of their performance and seek out ways to improve. Finally, Tracy encourages readers to develop a growth mindset. He argues that successful salespeople are always learning and growing, and they view challenges and setbacks as opportunities to learn and improve. They are not afraid to take risks or try new things and they are always looking for ways to innovate and stay ahead of the competition. In conclusion, Commit to Excellence is a powerful message that emphasizes the importance of making a commitment to excellence in every area of your life, especially in sales. By setting high standards for yourself, having a positive attitude, working hard, taking responsibility for your own success, and embracing a growth mindset you can become a sales superstar and achieve your goals. Chapter 2 of Brian Tracy's book, Be a Sales Superstar, 
is titled Act as if it were impossible to fail. In this chapter, Tracy emphasizes the importance of having a positive attitude and believing in oneself in order to achieve success in sales. Tracy begins by stating that the way a person thinks and feels about themselves and their abilities has a direct impact on their success. He notes that successful salespeople have a strong belief in themselves and their abilities and that this belief is what enables them to take risks overcome obstacles and ultimately achieve their goals. Tracy encourages readers to adopt this same mindset by acting as if it were impossible to fail. This means approaching every sales opportunity with confidence and a positive attitude, even in the face of challenges or setbacks. By doing so, salespeople can increase their chances of success and become top performers in their field. One of the key ways to cultivate this mindset, according to Tracy, is to focus on the positive aspects of a situation rather than the negative. Instead of dwelling on the risks or potential failures of a sales opportunity, he advises salespeople to focus on the potential benefits and the positive outcomes they hope to achieve. By doing so, they can stay motivated and inspired, even when faced with rejection or obstacles. Tracy also emphasizes the importance of taking action in order to achieve success. He notes that successful salespeople are those who take bold action even in the face of uncertainty or risk. By taking action, they create momentum and build confidence in their abilities, which can help them achieve even greater success in the future. To help readers adopt this mindset and take action towards their goals, Tracy provides several practical tips and strategies. These include setting clear goals, developing a plan of action, taking calculated risks, and staying focused on the positive outcomes they hope to achieve. Overall, Tracy's message in this chapter is clear. In order to be a sales superstar, it's essential to believe in oneself and act as if success were inevitable. By cultivating a positive attitude, focusing on the positive aspects of a situation, and taking bold action, salespeople can increase their chances of success and achieve their goals. Chapter 3 of Brian Tracy's book, Be a Sales Superstar, emphasizes the importance of putting your whole heart into your selling. This means having a positive attitude, strong belief in your product or service, and an unwavering commitment to helping your customers achieve their goals. To begin with, Tracy emphasizes that attitude is everything in sales. Salespeople with a positive, optimistic attitude are more successful than those with a negative, pessimistic attitude. A positive attitude not only attracts customers, but also helps salespeople to persevere in the face of rejection and setbacks. Therefore, salespeople should make a conscious effort to maintain a positive outlook, even in difficult situations. Furthermore, Tracy highlights the importance of having a strong belief in your product or service. To sell effectively, salespeople must genuinely believe that their product or service can benefit their customers. They must be able to articulate the features and benefits of their offering and demonstrate how it solves the customer's problem or meets their needs. By having confidence in their product or service, salespeople can convey that confidence to their customers and inspire them to take action. In addition to having a positive attitude and a strong belief in their product or service, Tracy emphasizes the importance of an unwavering commitment to helping customers achieve their goals. Successful salespeople see themselves as problem solvers, and they approach each sales interaction as an opportunity to help the customer achieve their objectives. By focusing on the customer's needs and goals rather than their own, salespeople can build trust and establish long-term relationships with their customers. Tracy also discusses the importance of persistence in sales. Selling is not always easy, and it often requires perseverance in the face of rejection and setbacks. Successful salespeople have a never-give-up attitude and are willing to put in the time and effort necessary to close the sale. They are also willing to learn from their mistakes and adapt their approach when necessary. Finally, Tracy emphasizes the importance of continuous improvement in sales. Salespeople should always be looking for ways to improve their skills and knowledge, whether through formal training. Chapter 4 of BA Sales Superstar by Brian Tracy focuses on the importance of positioning yourself as a real professional in order to become successful in sales. According to Tracy, one of the keys to success in sales is to view yourself as a professional rather than just a salesperson. By doing so, you can create a sense of trust and credibility with your prospects, which can lead to more sales and referrals. Tracy argues that professionalism begins with appearance. He suggests that salespeople should dress appropriately for their industry and always strive to look their best. This not only helps to create a positive first impression with prospects, 
but also helps to build self-confidence and a sense of pride in one's work. In addition to appearance, Tracy emphasizes the importance of product knowledge. He believes that a true professional is someone who is knowledgeable about their product or service and can answer any questions that prospects may have. This requires a commitment to ongoing learning and development, as well as a willingness to stay up to date with industry trends and changes. Another key element of professionalism, according to Tracy, is attitude. He suggests that salespeople should always approach their work with a positive, can-do attitude. This not only helps to create a more enjoyable and productive work environment, but also helps to build trust and rapport with prospects. Tracy also emphasizes the importance of communication skills in sales. He suggests that salespeople should strive to be clearer, concise, and persuasive in their communications with prospects. This requires a commitment to honing one's communication skills through practice, feedback, and ongoing learning. Finally, Tracy stresses the importance of customer service in sales. He suggests that true professionals are committed to providing exceptional customer service to their clients. This includes being responsive to client needs, following through on commitments, and always striving to exceed expectations. In order to position oneself as a real professional in sales, Tracy suggests several key strategies. First and foremost, he suggests that salespeople should always be learning and growing in their profession. This includes staying up to date with industry trends and changes, as well as seeking out opportunities for ongoing learning and development. Tracy also emphasizes the importance of creating a personal brand. This involves developing a unique value proposition that sets you apart from other salespeople in your industry. This can be achieved by focusing on your unique strengths and skills, as well as your personal values and beliefs. Another key strategy for positioning oneself as a professional in sales is to focus on building relationships with prospects and clients. This involves taking the time to listen to their needs and concerns and developing a deep understanding of their unique challenges and goals. By doing so, salespeople can create a sense of trust and rapport with their clients which can lead to more sales and referrals. Tracy also suggests that salespeople should always be looking for ways to add value to their clients' lives. This can be achieved by providing exceptional customer service, offering valuable insights and advice, and going above and beyond to meet their needs. In conclusion, Chapter 4 of BA Sales Superstar emphasizes the importance of positioning oneself as a real professional in order to achieve success in sales. This involves focusing on appearance, product knowledge, attitude, communication skills, and customer service, as well as developing a personal brand, building relationships, and adding value to clients' lives. By following these strategies, salespeople can create a sense of trust and credibility with their prospects which can lead to more sales and referrals over time. Preparing thoroughly for every sales call is one of the most important skills that a sales professional can have. It allows you to build rapport with the prospect, understand their needs and challenges, and position your product or service as the ideal solution. In his book BA Sales Superstar, Brian Tracy emphasizes the importance of preparation and provides some useful tips on how to prepare for every call. Here are five key ways to prepare thoroughly for every sales call. Research the prospect. Before you make a sales call, it's important to research the prospect thoroughly. This includes understanding their business, their industry, their pain points, and their goals. This information will allow you to tailor your pitch to their specific needs and position your product or service as the ideal solution to their problems. You can research the prospect by looking at their website, social media profiles, and any other online presence they may have. You can also look at industry reports, news articles, and other relevant information to get a better understanding of their business and industry. Prepare your pitch. Once you have a good understanding of the prospect's business and industry, it's time to prepare your pitch. Your pitch should be tailored to the prospect's specific needs and challenges, and should clearly articulate the benefits of your product or service. To prepare your pitch, you should write out a script and practice it until you feel comfortable with the content and delivery. You should also prepare responses to common objections and questions that you may encounter during the call. Set objectives. Before you make the call, it's important to set clear objectives for the conversation. This could include scheduling a follow-up call, setting up a demo or trial, or closing the sale. Setting clear objectives will help you stay focused during the call and ensure that you are moving the conversation forward towards a successful outcome. Anticipate objections. During the sales call, it's likely that the prospect will have objections to your pitch. These objections may include concerns about price, timing, 
or fit with their specific needs. To prepare for these objections, you should anticipate them ahead of time and prepare responses that address each concern. This will help you address the prospect's concerns in a confident and professional manner and move the conversation towards a successful outcome. Practice active listening. Finally, it's important to practice active listening during the sales call. This means listening to the prospect's needs and concerns, asking clarifying questions, and demonstrating empathy and understanding. Active listening will help you build rapport with the prospect, understand their needs and challenges, and position your product or service as the ideal solution. In summary, Preparing thoroughly for every sales call is essential for success in sales. By researching the prospect, preparing your pitch, setting objectives, anticipating objections, and practicing active listening, you can increase your chances of closing the sale and becoming a sales superstar. In his book Be a Sales Superstar, Brian Tracy emphasizes the importance of continuous learning and becoming a successful salesperson. In this chapter, Tracy shares six key strategies for dedicating oneself to continuous learning in sales. Read for an hour every day. According to Tracy, successful salespeople are avid readers. He suggests reading for at least an hour every day, focusing on books and articles related to sales, marketing, and business in general. By reading consistently, salespeople can stay up to date on industry trends, learn new techniques, and gain insights into the mindset of successful salespeople. Listen to audio programs in your car. In addition to reading, Tracy recommends listening to audio programs in the car. This can include sales training courses, motivational speeches, or even podcasts related to sales and marketing. By making the most of downtime, salespeople can maximize their learning opportunities and continuously improve their skills. Attend seminars and workshops. Attending seminars and workshops is another key strategy for continuous learning in sales. Tracy suggests seeking out events hosted by top sales trainers and industry experts as well as attending conferences and trade shows related to your industry. By attending these events, salespeople can network with other professionals and gain valuable insights into the latest sales techniques and strategies. Join a mastermind group. Tracy also recommends joining a mastermind group which is a group of like-minded individuals who meet regularly to discuss business and personal development. By joining a mastermind group, salespeople can receive feedback, share ideas, and learn from the experiences of others. This can be especially helpful for salespeople who work independently or for small businesses. Get a mentor or coach. Having a mentor or coach is another effective way to continuously learn and improve in sales. A mentor or coach can provide guidance, support, and feedback helping salespeople to identify areas for improvement and develop new skills. Tracy suggests seeking out mentors or coaches who have achieved success in sales and are willing to share their knowledge and expertise. Practice, practice, practice. Finally, Tracy emphasizes the importance of practice in becoming a successful salesperson. He suggests setting aside time each day to practice sales skills, such as prospecting, presenting, and closing deals. By practicing consistently, Salespeople can improve their confidence, refine their techniques, and become more effective at selling. In conclusion, continuous learning is a critical component of success in sales. By dedicating oneself to learning through reading, listening, attending events, joining groups, getting a mentor, and practicing regularly, salespeople can stay up to date on industry trends, develop new skills, and become top performers in their field. Be a Sales Superstar by Brian Tracy is a book that provides a comprehensive guide to achieving success in sales. One of the key principles of this book is to accept complete responsibility for the results of your sales efforts. In this article, we'll explore what it means to accept responsibility and how it can help you become a sales superstar. To begin with, accepting complete responsibility means taking ownership of your sales results. This means that you are willing to be accountable for the outcomes of your sales efforts, whether they are positive or negative. You are not blaming anyone else for your sales performance but yourself. This mindset shift is critical because it allows you to take control of your sales process and move towards success. There are many benefits to accepting complete responsibility for your sales results. Firstly, it allows you to focus on what you can control. When you take responsibility, you shift your attention away from external factors that are beyond your control such as market conditions or competition, and instead focus on what you can do to improve your performance. Secondly, taking responsibility also enables you to learn from your mistakes. Instead of making excuses or blaming others for your failures, you can reflect on your actions and identify areas for improvement. By taking ownership of your mistakes, 
you can use them as opportunities for growth and develop new strategies for success. Thirdly, accepting responsibility is critical for building trust with your customers. When you take responsibility for your actions, customers are more likely to see you as a reliable and trustworthy partner. This can lead to stronger relationships, increased loyalty, and ultimately, more sales. So how can you accept complete responsibility for your sales results? Here are some practical steps. Set clear goals. Having clear, measurable goals is critical for taking responsibility for your sales performance. When you set goals, you have a clear target to aim for, and you can track your progress towards achieving them. Develop a plan. Once you have your goals in place, you need to develop a plan for achieving them. This plan should include specific actions that you will take timelines for when you will take them, and measurable indicators of success. Track your progress. Regularly monitoring your sales performance is essential for taking responsibility for your results. This means tracking your progress towards your goals, analyzing your sales data, and identifying areas for improvement. Learn from your mistakes. When you encounter setbacks, or failures, don't make excuses or blame others. Instead, take ownership of your mistakes, reflect on what you could have done differently, and use this knowledge to improve your performance in the future. Stay motivated. Taking responsibility for your sales results can be challenging especially when you encounter obstacles or setbacks. To stay motivated, focus on the benefits of taking ownership, such as increased control over your sales process, greater trust from customers, and the potential for long-term success. Be a Sales Superstar by Brian Tracy is a comprehensive guide that can help anyone interested in improving their sales skills. One of the key themes in the book is the importance of mastering the basics. In this article, We'll dive into the eight key areas where Tracy suggests you focus your efforts to become brilliant on the basics. Prospecting The first basic skill is prospecting, which is the process of finding potential customers. Tracy suggests that salespeople should spend at least an hour a day on prospecting activities. This could involve cold calling, sending out emails, or attending networking events. The more effort you put into prospecting, the more likely you are to find new business opportunities. Preparation Preparation is key to success in sales. Before meeting with a customer, make sure you have done your research and have a clear understanding of their needs and pain points. This will help you to tailor your pitch to their specific situation and increase your chances of closing the deal. Approach The approach refers to how you initially engage with a potential customer. Tracy suggests that you should start by building rapport and establishing a connection with the customer. This could involve asking them questions about their business or personal life to show that you are interested in getting to know them. Presentation Once you have established a connection with the customer, it's time to make your pitch. Tracy recommends that you keep your presentation simple, clear, and focused on the benefits that your product or service can provide. Use stories, case studies, and testimonies to help illustrate the value of what you are offering. Handling objections, no matter how good your pitch is, you will inevitably encounter objections from potential customers. Tracy suggests that you should embrace objections as an opportunity to learn more about the customer's needs and concerns. Take the time to listen to their objections and address them in a way that shows that you understand their perspective. Closing the sale Closing the sale is the ultimate goal of any sales interaction. Tracy advises salespeople to ask for the sale directly and confidently using phrases like, what's the next step? Or are you ready to move forward? It's important to be persistent, but also to know when to back off and respect the customer's decision if they are not ready to buy. Follow up following up with potential customers is crucial to maintaining a strong relationship and keeping your product or service top of mind. Tracy suggests that you should follow up with customers within 24 hours of meeting with them and continue to stay in touch with them on a regular basis. Continuous learning finally. Tracy emphasizes the importance of continuous learning in sales. The best salespeople are always looking for ways to improve their skills and stay up to date with the latest industry trends. This could involve reading books, attending conferences, or working with a mentor or coach. In conclusion, becoming brilliant on the basics of sales is key to achieving success in this field. By focusing on these eight areas prospecting, preparation, approach, presentation, handling objections, closing the sale, follow-up, and continuous learning you can improve your sales skills and become a sales superstar. In his book Be a Sales Superstar, Brian Tracy stresses the importance of building long-term relationships with customers. According to Tracy, 
Building strong relationships is the key to success in sales. Here are nine strategies that Tracy recommends to build long-term relationships with customers. Focus on the customer's needs. Successful salespeople focus on their customers' needs and desires, rather than on their own product or service. They seek to understand the customer's problems, concerns, and goals, and then provide a solution that meets their needs. Build trust. Trust is the foundation of any successful relationship and it is no different in sales. Salespeople must demonstrate their trustworthiness by being honest, transparent, and reliable. They should always deliver on their promises and never make false claims. Provide value. Successful salespeople provide value to their customers by offering products or services that help them solve their problems or achieve their goals. They should also offer advice, support, and guidance to help their customers make informed decisions. Communicate effectively. Communication is a crucial aspect of building relationships, and salespeople people should be skilled at communicating in a clear and concise manner. They should listen carefully to their customers and respond to their needs and concerns. Be responsive. Successful salespeople are responsive to their customers' needs and concerns. They should be available to answer questions, provide support, and address any issues that arise. Build rapport. Building rapport is an essential aspect of building relationships. Salespeople should strive to establish a connection with their customers by finding common ground showing genuine interest, and demonstrating empathy. Follow up. Following up is critical to maintaining relationships with customers. Salespeople should check in with their customers regularly, provide updates on products or services, and offer ongoing support. Be proactive. Successful salespeople are proactive in anticipating their customers' needs and concerns. They should be proactive in offering solutions and providing support, even before the customer asks for it. Continuously improve. Building long-term relationships is an ongoing process, and successful salespeople are always looking for ways to improve. They should seek feedback from their customers, learn from their successes and failures, and continually refine their approach. In conclusion, building long-term relationships is critical to success in sales. By focusing on the customer's needs, building trust, providing value, communicating effectively, being responsive, building rapport, following up, being proactive, and continuously improving, salespeople can establish strong, lasting relationships with their customers that lead to increased sales and customer loyalty. Be a Sales Superstar by Brian Tracy is a book that provides insights and strategies for achieving success in the field of sales. One of the key areas that the book emphasizes is the importance of being a financial improvement specialist. In this essay, I will explain the concept of being a financial improvement specialist and provide 10 tips for becoming one. Being a financial improvement specialist refers to the ability to help clients or customers achieve their financial goals and improve their financial situation through the products or services that you offer. As a salesperson, your job is not just to sell products or services, but to also help customers achieve their financial objectives. By doing so, you build trust, establish long-term relationships, and differentiate yourself from your competitors. Here are 10 tips for becoming a financial improvement specialist. Understand your customer's financial situation. To help customers improve their financial situation, you need to have a good understanding of their current financial situation, including their income expenses, debts, and assets. Understand your products or services. You need to have a deep understanding of the products or services that you offer and how they can help customers achieve their financial goals. Develop a financial plan. Once you understand your customer's financial situation and your products or services, you can develop a customized financial plan that meets their specific needs and goals. Provide education. To become a financial improvement specialist, you need to provide education to your customers about financial literacy financial planning, and the benefits of your products or services. Offer value-added services. In addition to your products or services, you can offer value-added services, such as financial counseling, investment advice, or tax planning to help customers improve their financial situation. Build trust. Building trust is essential to becoming a financial improvement specialist. You need to be honest, transparent, and provide excellent customer service to earn your customers' trust. Establish long-term relationships. To help customers achieve their financial goals, you need to establish long-term relationships. This involves staying in touch with your customers, providing ongoing support, and offering new products or services as their needs change. Be proactive. As a financial improvement specialist, you need to be proactive in identifying opportunities to help customers improve their financial situation. This involves staying up to date with the latest financial trends, 
and offering solutions that meet your customers' evolving needs. Listen to your customers. To truly understand your customers' financial situation and needs, you need to be a good listener. Take the time to listen to their concerns and goals and provide solutions that are tailored to their specific needs. Continuously improve. Finally, to become a financial improvement specialist, you need to continuously improve your knowledge and skills. Stay up to date with the latest financial trends and technologies, and invest in your own education and professional development. In conclusion, being a financial improvement specialist is an essential skill for anyone in the sales profession. By helping customers achieve their financial goals, you not only differentiate yourself from your competitors, but also build trust and establish long-term relationships. By following the 10 tips outlined above, you can become a sales superstar and achieve success in your career. Brian Tracy's book Be a Sales Superstar is an excellent resource for anyone looking to improve their sales skills. One of the key concepts discussed in the book is educational selling. According to Tracy, educational selling is the process of educating your customers about your product or service in a way that helps them make an informed buying decision. This technique can help you build trust and rapport with your customers, establish yourself as an expert in your field, and ultimately close more sales. In this article, we will discuss 11 tips for using educational selling with every customer. Start with the customer's needs The first step in educational selling is to understand your customer's needs. Take the time to ask questions and listen carefully to their responses. What are their pain points? What are their goals and objectives? Understanding your customer's needs will help you tailor your sales pitch to their specific situation. Focus on benefits, not features when educating your customers about your product or service. Focus on the benefits, not the features. Features are the characteristics of your product or service, while benefits are the positive outcomes that result from using it. For example, a car's features might include air conditioning and a navigation system, but the benefits of these features are that you'll stay cool and get to your destination faster. Use stories and examples Stories and examples are powerful tools in educational selling. They help your customers relate to your product or service on a personal level and understand how it can help them achieve their goals. Use real-life examples and case studies to illustrate the benefits of your product or service. Provide data and statistics Data and statistics can be very persuasive in educational selling. Use research and studies to back up your claims and demonstrate the effectiveness of your product or service. Be sure to use reputable sources and present the data in an easy-to-understand format. Use analogies and metaphors Analogies and metaphors can help your customers understand complex ideas by relating them to something they already know. For example, you might compare your product to a Swiss Army knife which has multiple tools that can be used in different situations. Use visual aids Visual aids, such as graphs, charts, and images, can help your customers understand complex ideas and data. Use visual aids to illustrate the benefits of your product or service and make your presentation more engaging. Anticipate objections Anticipating objections is an important part of educational selling. Think about the objections your customers might have and prepare responses in advance. Addressing objections proactively can help build trust and credibility with your customers. Ask for feedback Asking for feedback is an important part of educational selling. Ask your customers for their thoughts and opinions throughout the sales process. This will help you understand their needs better and adjust your pitch accordingly. Be honest and transparent honest and transparency are critical in educational selling. Be upfront about the limitations of your product or service, as well as its strengths. If your product isn't a good fit for your customer, be honest about that and recommend alternatives. Follow up Following up with your customers after the sale is an important part of educational selling. Check in with them to see how they're doing and if they have any questions or concerns. This will help build trust and ensure customer satisfaction. Continuously improve educational selling is an ongoing process. Continuously seek feedback and look for ways to improve your sales pitch. Attend training and development programs, read books and articles, and network with other sales professionals to stay up to date on best practices. In conclusion, educational selling is a powerful technique that can help you build trust and rapport with your customers establish yourself as an expert in your field, and ultimately close more. Be a Sales Superstar by Brian Tracy is a comprehensive guide to help sales professionals become more successful in their careers. One of the key concepts emphasized in the book is the importance of building mega-credibility with every prospect. In this article, we will explore the 12 ways in which you can build mega-credibility with your prospects. Dress for success. The way you dress and present yourself plays a significant role in building your credibility with your prospects. Dress professionally and ensure that your appearance is neat and tidy. 
This will give your prospects a positive impression of you and make them more receptive to what you have to say. Use powerful testimonials. Testimonials are a powerful tool that can help you build credibility with your prospects. Use testimonials from satisfied customers to demonstrate the effectiveness of your product or service. This will help your prospects to see that your product or service has delivered results for others which can increase their confidence in your offering. Demonstrate expertise. Demonstrating your expertise in your field is crucial to building credibility with your prospects. Share your knowledge and experience with them and help them to understand how your product or service can benefit them. The more you can demonstrate your expertise, the more likely your prospects are to trust you and believe in what you are selling. Use data and statistics. Data and statistics can be a powerful tool to build credibility with your prospects. Use data to demonstrate the effectiveness of your product or service and how it can help your prospects achieve their goals. This will help to build trust and confidence in your offering. Use success stories. Success stories are a powerful way to build credibility with your prospects. Share success stories from satisfied customers to demonstrate the effectiveness of your product or service. This will help your prospects to see that your offering has delivered results for others which can increase their confidence in your offering. Be honest and transparent. Honesty and transparency are essential to building credibility with your prospects. Be upfront and honest about what your product or service can and cannot do, and avoid making unrealistic promises. This will help your prospects to trust you and believe in what you are selling. Use third-party endorsements. Third-party endorsements can be a powerful tool to build credibility with your prospects. Use endorsements from industry experts or well-known figures to demonstrate the effectiveness of your product or service. This will help your prospects to see that your offering has been recognized by others which can increase their confidence in your offering. Provide outstanding customer service. Providing outstanding customer service is crucial to building credibility with your prospects. Ensure that you are responsive to their needs and provide them with the support they need to be successful. This will help to build trust and confidence in your offering. Be consistent. Consistency is key to building credibility with your prospects. Ensure that you are consistent in your messaging and actions and avoid making promises that you cannot keep. This will help your prospects to trust you and believe in in what you are selling. Provide valuable content. Providing valuable content to your prospects is crucial to building credibility with them. Share useful information and insights that can help them achieve their goals, even if it is not directly related to your product or service. This will help to build trust and credibility with your prospects. Build relationships. Building relationships with your prospects is essential to building credibility with them. Take the time to get to know them and understand their needs and goals. This will help you to tailor your offering to their specific needs and build a relationship based on trust and mutual respect. Follow up. Following up with your prospects is essential to building credibility with them. Ensure that you follow up promptly and provide them with the support they need to be successful. NBA sales superstar, Brian Tracy outlines 13 techniques for handling objections effectively. Handling objections is a crucial skill for sales professionals, as objections are a natural part. Listen carefully. The first step in handling objections effectively is to listen carefully to the customer's objection. This involves actively listening to what they are saying, without interrupting or assuming that you know what they are going to say. By giving the customer your full attention, you can better understand their concerns and respond in a way that addresses their specific objections. Understand the objection. Once you have listened to the customer's objection, take the time to fully understand it. Ask questions to clarify their concerns and make sure you have a complete understanding of their objection. This will help you to respond in a way that directly addresses their concerns and shows that you have taken the time to understand their point of view. Empathize with the customer. Empathy is a powerful tool in sales as it shows the customer that you understand their concerns and are on their side. When handling objections, it is important to empathize with the customer and acknowledge their concerns. This can help to build trust and show that you are committed to finding a solution that works for them. Agree with the customer. In some cases, it may be appropriate to agree with the customer's objection. This can be a powerful technique, as it shows that you are willing to put their needs first and are not simply trying to make a sale. By agreeing with the customer, you can build trust and credibility, which can help to overcome their objections and close the sale. Reframe the objection. Another effective technique for handling objections is to reframe the objection in a way that makes it easier to address. This involves taking the customer's objection and restating it in a more positive light. For example, if the customer objects to the price of a product, 
you could reframe the objection by highlighting the product's quality and value. Respond with evidence. When handling objections, it is important to back up your responses with evidence. This could involve providing statistics, testimonials, or case studies that demonstrate the effectiveness of your product or service. By providing evidence, you can build credibility and show the customer that you have the knowledge and expertise to address their concerns, offer alternative solutions. In some cases, the customer's objection may be based on a misunderstanding or a lack of information. In these situations, it can be helpful to offer alternative solutions that address their concerns. This could involve suggesting a different product or service, or providing additional information that helps to alleviate their concerns. Ask for clarification. If you are unsure about the customer's objection, or if you need more information to address their concerns, it is important to ask for clarification. This involves asking questions to better understand their concerns and to identify any underlying issues that may be driving their objection. Handle objections proactively. Rather than waiting for the customer to raise objections, it can be helpful to proactively address potential objections during the sales process. This could involve anticipating common objections and addressing them before they become an issue. By proactively addressing objections, you can build trust and credibility with the customer and increase the likelihood of closing the sale. Use humor. Humor can be an effective tool for handling objections, as it can help to diffuse tension and build rapport with the customer. When using humor, it is important to be respectful and to avoid making fun of the customer or their concerns. Instead, use humor to lighten the mood and to show that you are approachable and friendly. Be a Sales Superstar by Brian Tracy is a comprehensive guide that offers practical strategies and techniques for achieving success in sales. One of the most critical skills for any sales professional is the ability to handle price objections and negotiate effectively. In this article, we will discuss 14 strategies outlined by Tracy to help salespeople deal with price professionally and close more deals. Focus on the value proposition. Rather than simply talking about the features and benefits of your product or service, focus on the value proposition. What specific problem does your product or service solve for the customer? How does it make their life easier or better? By focusing on the value you deliver, you can justify your price point and make it easier for customers to see the benefits of working with you. Build trust and rapport. Before you can effectively negotiate on price, you need to build trust and rapport with the customer. Take the time to understand their needs and concerns and show that you are genuinely interested in helping them find the right solution. By establishing a strong relationship with the customer, you can create a sense of mutual respect and understanding that makes it easier to discuss pricing. Avoid apologizing. One of the biggest mistakes salespeople make when discussing price is apologizing for it. If you apologize for your price, you are essentially telling the customer that you don't believe in the value you are offering. Instead, be confident in your pricing and focus on the value you deliver. Be prepared to walk away. If a customer is simply not willing to pay your price, be prepared to walk away. While it can be tempting to lower your price just to close a deal, doing so can ultimately hurt your business in the long run. Be willing to stand by your pricing and know when it's time to walk away from a deal that simply isn't a good fit. Bundle products and services. By bundling products and services, you can create a more attractive pricing package for customers. This approach can be especially effective if you offer a range of complementary products or services that can be bundled together to create a more comprehensive solution. Offer payment plans. If a customer is concerned about the upfront cost of your product or service, consider offering payment plans or financing options. This can make your offering more accessible to a wider range of customers and help you close more deals. Highlight the long-term benefits. While your price point may seem high in the short term, it's important to highlight the long-term benefits of working with you. By focusing on the ROI and the long-term value you deliver, you can justify your pricing and help customers see the bigger picture. Know your competition. Understanding your competition and their pricing strategies can help you position your own pricing more effectively. If you offer a unique or superior product or service, you may be able to justify a higher price point. Conversely, if your competition is offering similar solutions at a lower price point, you may need to adjust your pricing strategy accordingly. Focus on the total cost of ownership. When discussing price, it's important to consider the total cost of ownership. This includes not only the upfront cost of your product or service, but also the ongoing costs associated with maintenance, upgrades, and other factors. By taking a more comprehensive view of pricing, you can help customers see the value of your offering over the long term. Create a sense of urgency. By creating a sense of urgency around your offering, you can encourage customers to take action and make a purchase. This can be achieved through limited time offers, 
special promotions, or other strategies that create a sense of scarcity and exclusivity. Provide testimonials and case studies. Testimonials and case studies can be powerful tools for justifying your price point. Brian Tracy's book, Be a Sales Superstar, is a comprehensive guide for sales professionals looking to take their skills to the next level. The book covers a wide range of topics, including the importance of setting goals, building relationships with clients, and closing the sale. In this article, we will focus specifically on the 15 key strategies for closing the sale that Tracy outlines in the book. Understand the prospect's needs. Before you can close the sale, you need to understand what the prospect's needs are. Ask questions to uncover their pain points and concerns so that you can tailor your pitch to meet their specific needs. Build rapport. Building rapport with the prospect is crucial to closing the sale. People are more likely to buy from someone they like and trust so take the time to establish a connection with the prospect. Make a strong first impression. Your first impression can make or break the sale. Dress professionally, be on time, and have a positive attitude to create a strong first impression. Use emotional appeals. People make buying decisions based on emotion not logic. Use emotional appeals to connect with the prospect and show them how your product or service can improve their life. Create a sense of urgency. The prospect needs to feel a sense of urgency to buy from you. Offer limited time deals or emphasize the consequences of not taking action to create a sense of urgency. Handle objections. Objections are a natural part of the sales process. Address them honestly and provide solutions to overcome any objections the prospect may have. Trial close. Use trial closes throughout the conversation to gain the prospect's interest and move closer to closing the sale. Ask for the sale. This may seem obvious, but many sales professionals fail to ask for the sale. Be confident and ask for the sale at the appropriate time. Assume the sale. Assuming the sale means acting as if the prospect has already agreed to buy from you. This can help create a sense of inevitability and make the prospect more likely to say yes. Offer choices. People like to have options. Offer the prospect a choice between two or three options to increase the likelihood of closing the sale. Close on value not price. Don't focus on the price of your product or service. Instead, focus on the value it provides and how it can improve the prospect's life. Use testimonials. Use testimonials from satisfied customers to show the prospect how your product or service has helped others. Provide guarantees. Offer a guarantee to alleviate the prospect's fears about buying from you. A guarantee can help build trust and make the prospect more likely to say yes. Follow up. Follow up with the prospect after the sale to ensure they are satisfied and to offer additional products or services. Continuously improve. Continuously improve your sales skills through training, reading, and practice. The more you improve, the more successful you will be at closing the sale. In conclusion, these 15 key strategies for closing the sale are essential for sales professionals who want to become a sales superstar. By understanding the prospect's needs, building rapport, making a strong first impression, using emotional appeals, creating a sense of urgency, handling objections, trial closing, asking for the sale, assuming the sale, offering choices, closing on value, using testimonials, providing guarantees, following up, and continuously improving. You can increase your chances of closing more sales and becoming a top performer in your field. Be a Sales Superstar by Brian Tracy is a book that provides practical strategies and techniques for achieving success in sales. One of the key principles of the book is the importance of making every minute count. In this chapter, Tracy outlines 16 specific ways to make the most of your time in sales. Plan your day in advance. One of the most effective ways to make every minute count is to plan your day in advance. This means taking the time to prioritize your tasks and schedule your day in a way that maximizes your productivity. Use a sales planner. A sales planner is a tool that can help you stay organized and focused on your goals. It can also help you track your progress and identify areas for improvement. Focus on high payoff activities. High payoff activities are tasks that generate the most revenue for your business. By focusing on these activities, you can maximize your productivity and achieve your sales goals more quickly. Avoid time-wasting activities. Time-wasting activities are tasks that do not generate revenue or contribute to your overall productivity. By avoiding these activities, you can free up more time to focus on high payoff tasks. Use a to-do list. A to-do list is a simple but effective tool for keeping track of your tasks and ensuring that you stay on track throughout the day. Set daily goals. Setting daily goals can help you stay focused and motivated throughout the day. These goals should be specific, measurable, and achievable. Use time blocks. Time blocks are periods of time that you set aside for specific tasks or activities. By using time blocks, 
you can stay focused on your tasks and avoid distractions, use a timer, a timer can help you stay focused and productive by reminding you to stay on task and avoid distractions, eliminate distractions, distractions can be a major obstacle to productivity, by eliminating distractions, you can stay focused on your tasks, and make the most of your time, take breaks, taking regular breaks can help you stay focused and productive throughout the day, these breaks should be brief but frequent, and should be used to recharge your energy and refocus your mind, use technology to your advantage, technology can be a powerful tool for increasing your productivity and making the most of your time, by using tools like email, social media, and CRM software, you can streamline your sales process and achieve better results. Stay organized. Staying organized is essential for making the most of your time in sales. This means keeping track of your tasks, scheduling your day effectively, and using tools like sales planners and to-do lists to stay on track. Use your commute time wisely. Your commute time can be a valuable opportunity to catch up on emails, make phone calls, or plan your day. By using this time wisely, you can maximize your productivity and make the most of your time. Delegate tasks. Delegating tasks to others can help you free up more time to focus on high payoff activities. This means identifying tasks that can be performed by others and outsourcing them when possible. Learn to say no. Saying no to tasks or activities that do not contribute to your overall productivity can be a powerful way to maximize your time and stay focused on your goals. Continuously improve. Continuously improving your skills and knowledge is essential for achieving success in sales. This means staying up to date on the latest trends and best practices, and investing in your own personal and professional development. In conclusion, making every minute count is a key principle for achieving success in sales. By following the 16 strategies outlined by Brian Tracy in BA Sales Superstar, you can maximize your productivity achieve your sales goals more quickly, and become a top. Brian Tracy's book, Be a Sales Superstar, is a must-read for anyone who wants to become successful in sales. In Chapter 17, he talks about the 80 20 rule, and how it can be applied to everything in sales. The 80 20 rule is also known as the Pareto Principle, named after Italian economist Wilfredo Pareto, who observed that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the population. This principle can be applied to many areas of life, including sales. Tracy argues that 80% of your sales results come from 20% of your sales activities. This means that if you focus on the 20% of activities that produce the most results, you will be more successful than if you focus on the other 80% of activities that produce fewer results. By applying the 80 20 rule to your sales activities, you can increase your sales, productivity, and efficiency. To apply the 80 20 rule to your sales activities, you need to identify the 20% of activities that produce the most results. This can include the products or services that generate the most revenue, the customers who buy the most, the sales techniques that are most effective, and the marketing channels that produce the most leads. Once you have identified the 20% of activities that produce the most results, you can focus on them and eliminate or delegate the other 80% of activities. This will free up your time and energy to focus on the most important tasks that will generate the most sales. Tracy also recommends applying the 80 20 rule to your customers. He suggests that 20% of your customers will generate 80% of your sales. By identifying these customers, you can focus on building relationships with them and providing them with exceptional service. You can also identify the 20% of customers who are causing the most problems and either fix the problems or let them go. Another way to apply the 80 20 rule is to focus on the 20% of your sales team who produce the most results. By identifying these top performers, you can provide them with the training, resources, and support they need to continue to excel. You can also identify the 20% of underperforming salespeople and either help them improve or let them go. Tracy also suggests applying the 80 20 rule to your time management. He recommends focusing on the 20% of tasks that produce the most results and eliminating or delegating the other 80% of tasks. This will free up your time and energy to focus on the most important tasks that will generate the most sales. In conclusion, applying the 80 20 rule to everything in sales can help you become a sales superstar. By identifying the 20% of activities, customers, salespeople, and tasks that produce the most results, you can focus on them and eliminate or delegate the other 80%. This will free up your time and energy to focus on the most important tasks that will generate the most sales. By applying the 80 20 rule, 
you can increase your sales, productivity, and efficiency and become a sales superstar. In Be a Sales Superstar, Brian Tracy provides practical tips and strategies for sales professionals looking to improve their performance and achieve greater success. One key concept Tracy emphasizes is the importance of keeping your sales funnel full. In this article, we will explore this concept in more detail, including what a sales funnel is, why it is important, and how to keep it full. What is a sales funnel? A sales funnel is a visual representation of the sales process from initial lead generation to closing the sale. The funnel is white at the top, representing the large pool of potential leads, and narrows as potential leads move through the stages of the sales process. The stages typically include lead generation, attracting potential customers through marketing efforts such as advertising, social media, or networking. Lead qualification, determining which leads are most likely to convert into sales by assessing their needs, budget, timeline, and other factors. Sales presentation, presenting your product or service to the qualified lead and addressing any objections or concerns. Closing the sale, converting the lead into a paying customer. Why is a full sales funnel important? A full sales funnel is critical to the success of any sales professional or business. Here are a few reasons why. Greater revenue, a full sales funnel means more potential customers, which can lead to more sales and higher revenue. Consistent pipeline. A full sales funnel provides a consistent pipeline of potential customers, ensuring that sales professionals have a steady stream of leads to work with. Improved forecasting. With a full sales funnel, sales professionals can more accurately predict future sales and revenue making it easier to set targets and track progress. How to keep your sales funnel full. So, how do you keep your sales funnel full? Here are 18 tips from Brian Tracy. Develop a marketing plan. Create a plan for generating leads and attracting potential customers through various marketing channels. Leverage social media. Use social media platforms to connect with potential customers, share valuable content, and build relationships. Attend networking events. Attend industry events, conferences, and other networking opportunities to meet potential potential customers and build your network. Ask for referrals. Ask satisfied customers for referrals to their friends and colleagues who may benefit from your product or service. Use email marketing. Build an email list and use targeted email campaigns to stay in touch with potential customers and provide them with valuable information. Offer free trials or demos. Offer free trials or demos of your product or service to potential customers to give them a taste of what you offer. Partner with complementary businesses. Partner with businesses that offer complementary products or services to tap into their customer base and expand your own. Publish valuable content. Publish blog posts articles, videos, or other valuable content that demonstrates your expertise and attracts potential customers. Host webinars. Host webinars are online events to provide valuable information and generate leads. Create a lead magnet. Offer a free resource, such as an ebook or white paper, in exchange for a potential customer's contact information. Follow up consistently. Follow up with potential customers consistently to build relationships address concerns, and move them through the sales process. Use Customer Relationship Management CRM software. Use CRM software to track leads and manage customer interactions, making it easier to stay organized and focused on closing sales. Optimize your website. Ensure that your website is user-friendly, visually appealing, and optimized for search engines to attract potential customers. Offer incentives. Offer incentives such as discounts or freebies to incentivize potential customers to take action and move through the sales process. Expand your target market. Consider expanding your target. Be a Sales Superstar is a book by Brian Tracy that outlines strategies for achieving success in sales. One of the key strategies is to set clear income and sales goals. In this response, I will explain the importance of setting clear goals and provide some tips for how to do so effectively. Setting clear goals is important for several reasons. First, it provides focus and direction. When you have a clear goal in mind, you know what you're working towards and can make decisions and take actions that are aligned with that goal. This helps you avoid wasting time and energy on activities that don't contribute to your success. Second, setting clear goals helps you measure progress. Without goals, it's difficult to know whether you're making progress or not. But when you have a specific goal in mind, you can track your progress and make adjustments as needed to ensure that you're on track to achieve your desired outcome. Finally, Setting clear goals helps you stay motivated. When you have a goal that you're passionate about, 
you're more likely to stay focused and motivated even when faced with challenges or setbacks. So how do you go about setting clear income and sales goals? Here are some tips. Be specific. Your goals should be as specific as possible. Instead of setting a goal to increase sales, set a goal to increase sales by 20% in the next quarter. Make them measurable. Your goals should be measurable so that you can track your progress. This might involve setting targets for revenue, number of sales, or other metrics that are relevant to your business. Set a deadline. Give yourself a deadline for achieving your goal. This will help create a sense of urgency and motivate you to take action. Break them down. Large goals can be overwhelming, so break them down into smaller more manageable tasks. This will make it easier to stay focused and make progress. Write them down. Write down your goals and keep them somewhere visible, such as on your desk or in your planner. This will serve as a reminder of what you're working towards and help keep you motivated. Review and adjust. Review your goals regularly and adjust them as needed. If you're making good progress, consider setting more ambitious goals. If you're struggling to make progress, Adjust your goals or strategy to ensure that you're on the right track. In summary, setting clear income and sales goals is an important part of achieving success in sales. By being specific, measurable, and time-bound, and breaking down your goals into manageable tasks, you can stay focused, measure progress, and stay motivated to achieve your desired outcome. Be a Sales Superstar by Brian Tracy is a comprehensive guide to achieving success in sales. One of the key principles he emphasizes is managing your sales territory well. In this article, we will explore the concept of managing your territory and how it can help you become a sales superstar. Managing your territory involves identifying your target market developing a plan to reach them, and executing that plan effectively. Here are some tips on how to manage your sales territory well. Know your market. Understanding your target market is critical. You need to know who your customers are, what they want, and what motivates them to make a purchase. Research your market thoroughly so that you can tailor your sales pitch to meet their needs. Set clear income goals. Determine how much money you want to make from your sales efforts. This will help you to focus your energy on the most lucrative opportunities and avoid wasting time on less profitable prospects. Set clear sales goals. Determine how many sales you need to make to achieve your income goals. This will help you to stay focused and motivated. Develop a plan. Create a sales plan that outlines how you will reach your target market. Identify the best sales channels and tactics to use, and set deadlines for achieving your goals. Execute your plan. Once you have developed your plan, it's time to put it into action. Stay focused and disciplined, and be sure to track your progress along the way. Manage your time. Time is your most valuable resource, so use it wisely. Prioritize your tasks and focus on the most important activities that will help you achieve your sales goals. Develop relationships. Building strong relationships with your customers is essential. Take the time to get to know them and understand their needs, and be sure to follow up with them regularly. Track your results. Keep track of your sales activities and results and analyze them regularly. Use this information to make adjustments to your sales plan as needed. Stay positive. Maintaining a positive attitude is critical to sales success. Stay focused on your goals, believe in yourself, and stay motivated even when faced with rejection. Be a Sales Superstar by Brian Tracy is a practical guide for individuals looking to become top-performing salespeople. The book emphasizes the importance of developing key skills, strategies, and habits that can help one succeed in the field of sales. One of the most important aspects of the book is The Seven Secrets of Sales Success, which Tracy outlines in detail. In this essay, I will explain the seven secrets and how they can be practiced to become a sales superstar. Secret 1. Develop a sales mindset. Tracy believes that a positive mindset is essential for success in sales. One needs to be confident, optimistic, and enthusiastic about their product or service. To develop a sales mindset, one should start by setting clear goals, visualizing success, and focusing on the positive aspects of their job. Secret 2. Set clear goals. Setting clear goals is essential for success in any field, but it is especially important in sales. One should set specific, measurable, and achievable goals that are aligned with their overall sales objectives. It is also important to track progress regularly and adjust goals as necessary. Secret 3. Create a sales plan. A sales plan is a roadmap for achieving one sales goals. It should include strategies for prospecting qualifying leads, presenting products or services, handling objections, and closing deals. A good sales plan should be flexible and adaptable to changing circumstances. Secret 4. Master the art of prospecting. Prospecting is the process of identifying potential customers and reaching out to them to generate interest in one's product or service. Successful salespeople know how to identify and qualify leads, 
build relationships with prospects, and use a variety of communication channels to reach out to them. Secret 5. Build rapport and trust. Building rapport and trust with prospects is essential for success in sales. To build rapport, one should focus on active listening, asking open-ended questions, and demonstrating empathy. To build trust, one should be honest, transparent, and reliable. Secret 6. Present solutions, not products. Successful salespeople focus on presenting solutions to their customers' problems, rather than just trying to sell them a product or service. They take the time to understand their customers' needs and tailor their presentations accordingly. They also focus on the benefits of their products or services, rather than just the features. Secret 7. Handle objections and close the sale. Objections are a natural part of the sales process, but successful salespeople know how to handle them effectively. They listen to their customers' concerns, address them with empathy, and offer solutions that meet their needs. They also know how to close the sale by asking for the order, overcoming any remaining objections, and creating a sense of urgency. To practice the seven secrets of sales success, Tracy recommends a number of specific techniques and habits including planning and prioritizing. Successful salespeople are organized and disciplined. They plan their days, prioritize their tasks, and focus on their most important goals. Continuous learning. Salespeople who are committed to continuous learning and self-improvement are more likely to succeed. They read books, attend seminars, and seek out mentors who can help them improve their skills. Time management. Successful salespeople are efficient with their time. They focus on high-value activities and delegate low-value tasks to others. Persistence. Sales can be a customer service. Successful salespeople focus on providing exceptional customer service. They go above and beyond to meet their customer. Positive attitude. A positive attitude is essential for success in sales. Successful salespeople focus on the positive aspects of their job, stay motivated. Brian Tracy's BA Sales Superstar is a comprehensive guide to becoming a successful sales professional. The book covers a wide range of topics, from developing a positive attitude and mindset, to mastering the art of closing deals. Throughout the book, Tracy provides actionable advice and insights to help readers become top performers in their field. In this conclusion, we'll summarize the key points and takeaways from the book, and explore how they can be applied to help you become a sales superstar. The importance of attitude and mindset Tracy emphasizes the importance of having a positive attitude and mindset in sales. He argues that your attitude determines your altitude, and that a positive attitude can help you overcome obstacles and achieve your goals. He encourages readers to focus on their strengths and to continually work on improving their skills and knowledge. Prospecting and qualifying leads Tracy stresses the importance of prospecting and qualifying leads in sales. He provides strategies for identifying and reaching out to potential customers as well as techniques for assessing their needs and determining whether they are a good fit for your product or service. He emphasizes the importance of building relationships with prospects and developing a deep understanding of their pain points and challenges. Presentation Skills Tracy provides guidance on how to deliver effective presentations that capture your prospects' attention and address their needs. He emphasizes the importance of being clear, concise, and engaging, and provides tips on how to structure your presentations for maximum impact. He also also emphasizes the importance of listening to your prospects' feedback and adjusting your approach accordingly. Closing Techniques Tracy provides a range of techniques for closing deals, including trial closes, assumptive closes, and alternative choice closes. He emphasizes the importance of understanding your prospects' objections and concerns and addressing them in a way that builds trust and confidence. Customer Service and Follow-up Tracy stresses the importance of providing exceptional customer service and following up with customers after the sale. He emphasizes the importance of building long-term relationships with customers and staying in touch with them to ensure their ongoing satisfaction. Continuous learning and improvement finally. Tracy emphasizes the importance of continuous learning and improvement in sales. He encourages readers to seek out training and development opportunities and to continually work on developing their skills and knowledge. To become a sales superstar, it's important to apply these principles in your day-to-day -day work. Start by developing a positive attitude and mindset and focus on building relationships with your prospects and customers. Continuously work on improving your presentation skills and closing techniques and be sure to provide exceptional customer service and follow-up. Finally, prioritize continuous learning and improvement and seek out opportunities to expand your knowledge and skills. By following these these principles and putting in the work, you can become a top performing sales professional and achieve great success in your career. Please like, share, subscribe our YouTube channel Learning for Success. Thanks for watching.